She was an active little girl who loved swimming and dancing. But for the whole of Ella Kissidebra's short life, she was surrounded by toxic air pollution. Living next to London's busy South Circular Road, Ella was regularly exposed to nitrogen dioxide levels and particulate matter in excess of EU and UK legal limits and World Health Organization guidelines. She'd suffered seizures and been taken to hospital nearly 30 times in the three years before her death. But the original inquest into her death did not include air pollution as a factor. Only after relentless campaigning by Ella's mother was this new coroner's inquest ordered. And the outcome is groundbreaking. This was about my daughter getting air pollution on the death certificate, which we finally have. And we've got the justice for her, which she so deserved. But also it's about other children still as we walk around our city of high levels of air pollution. The death of Ella Kissy Deborah is not just a personal tragedy for this family, it highlights a national and international crisis. The UK has one of the highest asthma death rates in Europe, nearly 50% higher than the European average. And researchers estimate that every year, 4 million children around the world develop asthma as a direct result of breathing in traffic pollution. In Britain, an estimated 1.1 million children have asthma. That's one in 11 including adult asthma, an average of three people die of the condition every day. And it's a growing issue. There was a 20% increase in deaths between 2011 and 2015. Britain has repeatedly failed to meet domestic and international legal limits on nitrogen dioxide pollution. The Mayor of London described Ella's inquest as a landmark moment, which should be a turning point, he said, in public policy. What comes from this judgment must be action. And it must be joined up government action to ensure that lives are saved from air pollution. There's a financial incentive too. The UK National Health Service spends around $1.3 billion a year on trying to treat asthma. This inquest, confirmation of the need not just to treat the symptoms of the condition, but to tackle the traffic pollution, which is one of its root causes. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera, Southwark Coroner's Court.